Sell or Be Sold How to Get Your Way in Business and in Life by Grant Cardone, published in 2011. Are you sold on what you're selling? Or are you underselling yourself? In Sell or Be Sold, motivational speaker and sales coach Grant Cardone explains that all people are is in the business of sales, regardless of whether they think of themselves as a sales representative. Sales happen whenever someone shares an idea, argues for a raise, or forms an agreement. Essentially, persuading someone else is a form of selling them on something. Without the ability to sell, people have little hope of becoming successful. They will have no control over their level of achievement because they lack the ability to persuade others to their cause. They will also be more likely to fall for sales schemes being marketed by others, regardless of whether the product, service, opportunity, or relationship being sold is to their betterment. People who don't learn to sell also have little hope of earning commissions, which are any reward received after achieving a sale. Commissions aren't just monetary bonuses earned by sales representatives. They are any positive outcome that results from effective action. An avid marathon runner who eats well and gets plenty of sleep will earn a commission in the form of placing well in races, for example. Learning how to sell is an essential skill that applies not just to those who work professionally in sales, but to anyone who hopes to cultivate a great life. For many, sales has a poor reputation as a profession. Sales representatives are considered to be manipulative, pushy, or obnoxious. These stereotypes are the result of incorrect information and untrue assumptions. The belief that sales is an evil business may prevent a person from learning key lessons from the sales industry as a whole. Sales can teach people how to negotiate, debate, and get what they truly desire out of interactions with others. Learning how to sell successfully can also help overcome limiting beliefs, such as the false assumption that launching a business requires individual wealth. Overcoming that belief can allow a potential entrepreneur to learn from business owners who started successful companies on shoestring budgets. Successful sales representatives learn how to tune out beliefs and assumptions that are not backed by facts. They search for evidence to bolster their theories and abandon concepts that cannot be proven in the field. If people do not interrogate a false assumption, it's only because they don't realize they have been sold the idea that they are blindly accepting. Those who have an automatic distaste for sales have unknowingly bought into someone else's false assumptions about the profession. Although everyone is in sales, not everyone is skilled at the activity. Some people are sales professionals, meaning that they understand sales tactics and know how to properly apply them to any given situation. Others are amateurs, meaning that they are simply dabbling in the art of persuading others. The half-hearted efforts of amateurs usually yield mixed results instead of true success. To be a professional in sales, one must become dedicated to the idea of absorbing everything about the craft of selling to others. By becoming a true professional, anyone can find security in life and in the business world. Professionals will no longer have to worry about economic downturns or uncertain job markets because they will have taken responsibility for cultivating their own prospects. Regardless of profession, a professional's mastery of sales tactics will provide an edge over colleagues who treat their work as a hobby rather than a life mission. Successful sales usually share five steps. In the first step, the sales representative greets the client. Second, the representative determines what the customer needs. The third step is presenting a potential solution and explaining the value of the proposed product or service. In the fourth step, the representative provides the client with a potential price for the proposed product or service. In the final step, that offer is either accepted or rejected. These steps are followed regardless of whether money is exchanged. A man who asks a woman out on a date has to greet her, determine whether she is open to dating, propose a potential activity that would be worth her time, and accept her decision. By memorizing those steps, Anyone can learn how to sell more effectively, whether the commodity is a novel, a company's latest product, or the prospect of a long and happy life with another person. Key Insights 1. 
Full devotion to the profession is the only way to improve in sales. 2. To maximize sales, a sales representative should maximize efforts. 3. Price is never a true barrier to making a purchase. 4. Understanding people is more important than memorizing sales tactics. 5. The responsibility for a lost sale lies solely with the sales representative. 6. Persistence and patience are crucial when pursuing a reluctant customer. 7. The best customers are people a sales representative already knows. 8. A sales representative's attitude matters more than technique.